Well, <laughs> it's almost midnight here in Pineville, Missouri. Um, and so I'll say good morning before it, the clock rings the bell. Okay. Um, the 13th of July will be, in about nine minutes, will be my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, Joy. Um, she will be, um, let's see, she's five years younger than myself, so she will be 62 today. She can take early retirement. <laughs> so, anyway, we just I just wanted to say hello to all of our friends. Um, before we do our devotional this morning, we are headed back up to northwest Missouri. Uh, to do an emergency repair on one of our rental properties. I guess God has called me back out of retirement for a brief period. Probably needs, he knows I need my exercise. <laughs> Even though bodily exercise profiteth a little. <laughs> right? Doesn't feel like it's profiting when I'm <clears throat> working like that. But, um, you know, I'd much rather smile than cry. So <laughs> that's why I'm smiling. I could boo-hoo and feel sorry for me and play li poor little old me, but it's not going to do any good. And God's ordained everything. I am my beloved, and he, his desire is toward me. Song of Solomon 10.2 I know whom I have believed and am persuaded that he is able to keep me Keep that which I've committed unto him against that day. I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature. <laughs> that, includes, that includes my tenants. <laughs> Shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Those that thou gavest me I have kept, and none of them is lost. That's called perseverance of the saints. The Lord taketh pleasure in his people. My delights were with the sons of men. His great love were with he loved us. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your souls. Spirits which are God's. Whether we live, we live unto the Lord, and whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live, therefore, or die, we are the Lord's. We have a more sure word of prophecy, wherein do ye do well, that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn and the day star rise in your hearts that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. I just read from Timothy 1, 12, Romans 8, 38, 39, John 17, 12, Psalm 149, 4, Proverbs 8, 31, Ephesians 2, 4, John 15, 13, 1 Corinthians 6, 20, and Romans 4, 2, and Romans 15, 4, 2 Peter 1, 2, 1, 2 Peter 1, 19. Well, I just hope that you all have a blessed remainder of the week. I'll see you from the uh, Super 8 in Cameron, Missouri on Wednesday and Thursday morning, God being in the matter. And like my dear brother Tom Adams and his lovely wife uh, Tori often conclude their emails to me in hope. God bless Larry Phillips. <laughs>